Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Heidi from My Reading Life and I'm here today to film my TBR check-in and book haul. So how did it go in the month of February? It went pretty well. It went pretty well. I'm not gonna lie. I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy with the results of my reading in um, February and where I'm at with my physical TBR. So this project is a project that's been ongoing for a while, just as an introduction for those of you who are new, where I am keeping track of the total number of physical books that I have in my house unread that I've either purchased, they have been gifted to me, I came across them for free somewhere, but I brought them into my home and I want to read them. So I keep track every month of the books that I read off the physical TBR that are leaving, they're, they're just off the physical TBR, they're not necessarily leaving the house, and the books that I bring in. So anything that I purchase or I'm gifted or just arrive here unexpectedly, we talk about that. Um, and then we keep a little balance sheet uh, on it just to keep track of everything uh, from month to month. And I really enjoy the process of tracking this. Um, I don't really have any specific goals in mind other than the vague, I'd like to get my physical TBR under 100 books. Um, I have no inclination to have a zero TBR ever. So it's just a sort of fun way for me to keep track with intention of what things come in and out of my home in terms of books that I want to read. So at the end of the month, in January, we ended up with 109 books on the physical TBR. So let's see how we did. This is my spreadsheet. I read a total of 13 books in the month of February. Six of those were off my physical TBR. I brought in three books to add to the physical TBR. I have unhauled one book, which leaves me with a minus four for the month. And then that leaves me with a balance of 105 books on the physical TBR. So we're down by four only 105 books on the physical TBR. I count that to be a very good win, um, considering that we started the year with 111 books on the physical TBR. So we're down to 105. Let's talk about the book that I um, decided to DNF and remove from my physical TBR. This is gonna be unhauled. Uh, I'm gonna put it back out into the world for somebody to be able to enjoy because I think it's an important book. It's just not a book for me, and that is Zora Neale Hurston's Mules and Men. So I guess I thought this was um, her own stories, but this is a collection of folklore, fable, folk stories um, that she collected. And uh, I am not a fan of folklore, folk stories, fairy tales, any of that sort of thing. So um, I just was not interested in reading through this. And I think that, you know, there are some illustrations in there as well. Um, I think that this is a book that other people would be really interested in. So I'm going to release this into the wild in the hopes that it finds the reader who is really excited to have it. Unfortunately, that reader is not me. So that is the one unhaul for the month. Let's talk about the three books that I purchased and brought into my home. The very first one that I'm gonna talk about is one that I've already talked about because I read it also as well in February. And that is Paris Dallancourt is About to Crumble by Alexis Hall. This is a romance book between our two main characters, Paris and Tariq. And um, it takes place on a uh, British baking show type of a thing. Um, and it, I read this and I talked about it in my last wrap up. So if you're interested in hearing my review on this book, please check that out. But this is one of the three books that I brought in and also read. So it came in and went off my TBR in the same month. The next book is a book that I picked up for a dollar at my library's, uh, has a shelf of books that they are selling all the time. And this book was on it. This is Prisoner of Geography, 10 Maps That Tell You Everything You Need to Know About Global Politics by Tim Marshall. I talked about this book briefly in my Mid-Month Book Bash vlog last month, um, but this is nonfiction. Uh, it is in excellent unread condition. I am really interested in books about geography and how geography impacts politics. And I have heard good things about Tim Marshall's writing. I have never read anything by this author in the past, but when I found this on that shelf for a dollar, I mean, it's donation only, so technically I could have paid even less for it, but I think a dollar is the bare minimum for a nice new hard cup, a nice new paperback copy of a book. Um, so I'm very excited to have this one, looking forward to uh, finding out what this one is all about and seeing if this is an author that's for me. 
And then last but not least is another used book that I picked up. I actually picked this one up at Goodwill. Happened to go in there with my daughter who was doing some shopping for some summer clothes and found this uh, book, The Mid Coast by Adam White. This is a novel that I that has been recommended to me by uh, Karen over at Roving Reader. And this is a book that is set in Maine. And um, I believe it's about uh, a man who is a teacher I think and he comes back to his hometown goes to a party at some people's houses at, at this person's house uh, a couple that he went to high school with and um, he uncovers what he thinks is a secret and then he becomes like really obsessed with trying to figure out this secret uh, that he finds out in this during this party at this uh, family of these folks he went to high school with. So I am really interested in the setting of this being Midcoast, Maine. You know, obviously I like to read things that are set in Maine and we shall see if this is a book that's for me. Um, I feel like it's, it seems like it's a mystery time novel. So I feel like this would be a good read for March because it is March Mystery Madness Month. So I may try to pick this one up in March to... Um, you know, read as a mystery for this month. And also because I feel like this will be a fast read for me. So another thing that makes me want to pick it up sooner rather than later. So those are the three books that I brought in in the month of February. Um, like I said, 105 books on the TBR. That feels really good. Um, I've been really heavily using my library a lot over the last month or so. And that's because obviously book two prize reading, um, I really use my library for a book two prize reading a lot. But the problem with going to the library is I get sucked into reading books that aren't on my physical TBR <laughs> because they're right there and you want to read them. So I, um, I want to maintain my focus and try to get my physical re TBR reduced. As you know, I'm focusing on these books here on the top shelf to the green. Those books are the oldest books that reside on my physical TBR, and there were 11 of them to start the year. I am down to nine total right now. One of them is not on here because it's on my TBR cart. I'm hoping to pick that one up this month, but at least one of these books I'd like to read in the month of March so I can keep my momentum up because I did read one from this grouping Um I did not read one from this grouping. That was the um, <laughs> that was the book that I uh, am going to unhaul. I'm sorry. This was the book that was from that 2019 uh, books that I brought in but hadn't yet read my so-called ancient TBR. And um, so that was one more book off that pile that we started out with that were 11 in total when we started the year. So now we're down to nine. Um, I've got I'm hoping to read at least one more in March and so continue to reduce that pile. Um, but so far, I'm I'm feeling pretty good about my progress for the year. So that's it. That's the update on the TBR. I hope you're all doing well and finding some great books to read. I will talk to you later.